We need four hugs a day for survival. We need eight hugs a day for maintenance. We need 12 hugs a day for growth. Life doesn't make any sense without interdependence. We need each other, and the sooner we learn that, the better for us all. Once you start making the effort to wake yourself up, that is, be more mindful in your activities, you suddenly start appreciating life a lot more. We are what we are because we have been what we have been, and what is needed for solving the problems of human life and motives is not moral estimates but more knowledge. Everything can be taken from a man, but the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitudes in any given set of circumstances. For happy people, time is filled and planned. For unhappy people, time is unfilled, open and uncommitted, they postpone things and are inefficient. We shouldn't teach great books, we should teach a love of reading. Knowing the contents of a few works of literature is a trivial achievement. Being inclined to go on reading is a great achievement. If you want to be creative, stay in part a child, with the creativity and invention that characterizes children before they are deformed by adult society. If you deliberately plan on being less than you are capable of being, then I warn you that you'll be unhappy for the rest of your life. Probably the biggest insight is that happiness is not just a place, but also a process. Happiness is an ongoing process of fresh challenges, and it takes the right attitudes and activities to continue to be happy. It is not primarily our physical selves that limit us, but rather our mindset about our physical limits. The highest and most beautiful things in life are not to be heard about, nor read about, nor seen but, if one will, are to be lived. Happiness is not out there for us to find. The reason that it's not our there is that it's inside us.